Hello and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for the 23rd of March 2022. So we are in Aries season and yeah we had some kind of heavier energy coming in for the 22nd so we'll see what is coming through for the 23rd. So let's just get some of the delicious 23rd energy into the cards and we'll get We'll get started. We've got the moon. Okay, so the moon represents a little bit of fear and confusion coming in. Um, it can be talking about cycles in your life as well. So the two of cups um, potentially looking around relationships. The knight of wands is something new and exciting, a positive shift and change coming in, which is really nice. The queen of swords. So this is kind of getting the go ahead. Oh, and the empress. Very nice. Okay. So, and we've got the death card transformation. Wow. These energies are just, uh, it's just, it is very intense at the moment. They're big energies around and it's kind of like just when you wanted a little respite and went, okay, I just want a little bit of calm, something really stable for the moment. It's just like boom, 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 throws you one thing after another. This is actually a much nicer energy coming in today though. Um, but with the Scorpio um, death card, the sort of Pluto energy, this is very much a sense that there's something is really shifting and changing here. And with the Empress coming in, it's creating a much more fertile space in terms of how you're kind of, and it's abundant, it's bringing in abundance and so to kind of, you know, expect some good outcomes and in particular in relationship to relationships because <laughs> we've got the Two of Cups, the card of love and relationships. We've got the Queen of Swords, which is Libra, ruling relationships. And here we have the moon going, well, there's something that just felt clouded around it or murky or something felt unclear. Uh, and maybe it's kind of like I'm trying to work through a, a cycle that I'm trying to move past a, a negative cycle or some kind of cycle to do with relationships. And this is the, you know, we do have <laughs> general patterns and cycles that we and pat, that we always and even unconscious habits that we bring in in relationships and with the death card coming in this is transforming a lot of this we do have the knight of wands in the center so this is a sagittarius card of wanting to bring in more freedom um, wanting to bring in some positive change as well and it can be a little bit of fun and spontaneity so it just is kind of more like a let's get the fire and the passion back and so but it is important to and this is you know just it doesn't it can be a particular relationship in general or it could just be um, relationships in general you know if you're single this can also just be that you're kind of going on not look I don't know where there's any love I'm not I'm trying to find somebody with the knight of wands coming in it's saying there's going to be an injection of uh, a little bit of excitement or something uh, a real positive fresh energy of change coming through in terms of just those um, you know, like I said, those subconscious or uh, patterns or habits around relationships. So interestingly, with the Queen of Swords, I feel like it's important to communicate something to say, to tell somebody that they've got, um, it's, it's a card of going, you know, I'm very, very clear in my head about what it is that I want. And I want the Empress. I want big love. I want abundance. I want to feel like I'm, you know, surrounded by I want a really good outcome when it comes to my relationship so with the empress energy and it's kind of important um, for some of you to communicate that whether it's just to yourself um, but there's a sense of giving yourself a, a permission somebody's kind of said yes there's a yes coming in here like yes go ahead and expect a great outcome so um, the knight of wands can sometimes represent travel so it, it does represent um you know, it can represent, um, yeah, it could be a great time to kind of might be the day that you want to book a, a trip or a overseas holiday or connect to somebody um, through in a foreign land or country. But ultimately it's kind of saying, um, you know, there's something bigger happening beneath the surface in terms of opening up to more abundance within relationships and that is transforming and getting really clear in your head about what it is that you want because the moon card was um, 
kind of, you know, a very Neptunian, Piscean energy of uh, going deep into some of those, um, yeah, going deep into a, a realm that it felt like I need to, the fire energy of the Knight of Wands, which is kind of like, you know, it's it's like some energies are really, we're seeing the transition between Pisces season and Aries season. The Knight of Wands is the fire energy. It's lifting you up and out of some energies of fear and confusion around relationships and bringing you that clarity. So it's it's a really lovely energy to come through. And for some of you that are looking for somebody, um, it potentially could be coming in with this empress energy. This is like, you know, big love energy, which is really nice. So the Knight of Wands can sometimes mean that you're getting a knock on the door. Um, it can be that you've got a visitor. It might mean your mum calling to say she's coming to visit for some of you, but um, just or just somebody unexpected coming in and going, hey, come and let's go do something fun. Um, that can It can mean that as well, but just kind of on a smaller level, um, ultimately it's taking you being um, the opportunity to rise up and out of something and let go of an old hat patterning and, yeah, be open to abundance in relationships. So that is the message of the day and this is where I think, you know, we were letting go of some wounds yesterday. We had the three of swords in the center and it's because the universe is going, okay, um, this airy season's going, okay, well, now that you've kind of done a little work on that, now let's move forward. We're charging forward now. <laughs> so it's impatient as well, this energy. It's, kind of, it's like I'm not going to be sitting around waiting for too long. If you're not ready, then we need to kind of get going. Um, so it's kind of like you might feel like, well, I haven't had enough time to sit with this, uh, but it's kind of that's why it feels like it's just one thing after another boom 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 it's like yeah i gave you your day to to get some messages and heal now we're we're off on something else and it's like uh yeah i might need a little bit longer than that but uh i don't want to miss the opportunity of where the aries energy is taking me because it feels fun and exciting so uh it's finding the balance of that um which is nice but ultimately with the de the death energy it's saying this is a longer transition anyway so um you know, it is something that um, happens over a longer period of time, even though that might feel like this impetus to be doing something or to not want to be missing out on something. So, um, yeah, <laughs> so that's the energies. It's kind of working with all these different energies that are pushing and pulling you all sorts of different ways. But I do feel like this Knight of Wands energy has the best of intentions. And I would say that if there's um, an energy around you or a person around you, you can just feel this lifting up and it's like, I think... I kind of think it's, you know, if it's leading to the Empress energy of abundance and then this is actually a good thing. So that's it. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks for joining me.